If more and more people knew how much the robotics market was growing, entrepreneurs would jump at the opportunity. Almost every single market within robotics, from consumer, personal services, professional services, industrial, manufacturing, and resources, is expected to grow at double-digit annual rates. BCG, Boston Consulting Group, conservatively predicts that the market will reach $87 billion by 2025. Tactica, which includes the robotics and artificial intelligence elements of the emerging self-driving industry, predicts the market will reach $237 billion by 2022. This is a much-needed job requirement within robotics. With ever-increasing automation, manufacturing and robotics, more and more technicians are needed to handle millions of robots. Yes, millions. By 2023, more than 2.4 million industrial robotic arms will be installed worldwide, representing more than 4 million industrial robotic arms in the world. Robotic scientists conduct cutting-edge research usually in an industrial setting. While engineers typically play a role in developing or improving robots, scientists tend to bring something new to the table. Again, this track also has specialized forms such as path planning researcher, controls researcher, computer vision researcher, etc. These elitists work thousands and thousands of hours to push the boundaries of robotics. From the integration of robotics to agriculture, exoskeletons frameworks and self-driving cars, the professors and their team of graduate students play a vital role. This career path is not going away anytime soon. There are many companies that have entered different segments of the robot market. Most failed. A few will succeed. Will you pick a winner? Maybe. Maybe not. In any case, to focus on a career in robotics, you will need to develop a lot of skills in mechanical, electronic and computer engineering. These skills will allow you great flexibility to change employers over the 30 years of your career. You might start out as a robotics engineer and end up as an investment banker arranging AI mergers. It's hard to predict, especially the future. Engineers who are interested in robots and all these kinds of things have a very bright future. Around 2040, robots will become part of our lives. Just like we use our smartphones and laptops today, we will use robots for some big and smart tasks, of course. As robots become a major part of life, their study will also be very popular. And engineers studying robots today will play a major role in this field. So, earnings will be higher than others. Robots are evolving. We humans are also learning more as the days go by. Humans have a very basic learn something and use it to learn more nature. I think life's very basic approach will serve people in the future. If you are around or under 20, congratulations to you, because you will probably live to see those incredible days when robots will have feelings like us and help us like a little brother. In a broad sense, robotics is about sensors providing feedback to a system that is performing a task in real time. Robotics is indeed in an evolving stage with various paradigm clashes and popularity contests, both in academia and industry. If you're looking for an academic career, one way is to get into a master's program with rigorous math courses. Robotics guarantees a significant command of mathematics at least at the university level, especially linear algebra, calculus, and probability. Then get a PhD in EE, mere CS. Companies are forced to hire you for a technical role, only if you demonstrate a strong background in programming and mathematics as well as the ability to do independent research. This makes robotics different from regular software engineering roles, where getting a lucrative job means you have to be good at what you do without necessarily having a college degree. If you get an opportunity to work in an organization that provides robotics automation solutions, then it is definitely a good opportunity. Service providers and manufacturers differ in this, so I would suggest you have a chance to go with a service provider, it is a good choice to explore the industry and also for your professional growth. The pay part with service providers won't be as bright compared to a large manufacturer, but the learning opportunity and experience you get is definitely worth starting your career.